This is another exciting episode of Red Beard Reviews. I'm Luke, and we are looking at yet another holster. I know, you thought after the good old Blackhawk stash that I was done. I was sold, I'd found the concealed carry holster, and that's it, right? Come on. We're always looking for another holster, the next best thing. So the Blackhawk stash, in my opinion, is the best for uh, like full coverage as a concealable holster and you still get it for a great price point, you know, like 30 bucks. But what if you want minimalist concealment for the ultimate thin package? Well, I got something and I've been using it for the past couple months and I got two of them because you get a great deal if you buy two. This is the, oh, let's move this. Maybe you can see it in the package. This is the Essential Holsters Naked Holster, which it's not really a holster per se, it's more of a trigger guard that has an included clip in it. Take it out of the packaging. I've already taken this one out of the package, and I, like I said, I, I have two of them, because if you buy two, you get free shipping. You know, shipping like almost 10 bucks. These things are 20, ooh, $25 a piece, 3D printed, and, you know, it's just this little piece of 3d printed plastic but you know it's it's flexi flexible and stuff but the the retention on it is actually really nice and like i said i i actually saw these things about a year ago and i thought about it and then winter hit and i didn't really need an ultra slim holster and i was just like yeah we'll forget about it and then fast forward to present and i've actually I do have other trigger guard holsters. I have the Vanguard 2, I think it is, from Raven Concealment for my Glock, and I like them. I actually like them a lot because you can add a wing to it, and then it doesn't print and all that fun stuff. Um, but with their little, well, actually both of these, th they, the clip does let it slide around on your belt, unless you have it inside the waistband with this on the outside, and that holds a little bit better. Anyways, I'm getting ahead of myself. This is a 3D printed holster, and they make it uh, the Essential Holsters uh, out of Alabama, veteran-owned company, USA made. Uh, like I said, it's 3D printed, and they make a whole pile of different models. And the way that it works is you just clip this on your belt or over your pants, whatever, and then this is goes over your trigger guard, very secure and you know like like extreme long term i don't know you know it's, it's plastic will it hold up well plastic pistols have been around for however long now maybe this isn't the same plastic but they've managed to hold up that's like the standard nowadays pretty much and i mean look at this i got my springfield in here with uh the other one of the two that i bought and i've been using it quite a lot actually um compared to the Blackhawk stash, uh, you know, th this serves its own niche, I would say, or it has its own niche. This, like I said, is for um, total coverage, like it's not going to rub on your belt or anything like that, and then I like using this a lot, especially if I'm going to be doing a lot of activity, um, running, jumping, things like that. Like on my morning runs, I always use this because it provides more protection and it doesn't move around. With the um, the essential holster, the naked holster, this slides like it, it slides on your belt. And these are so I do have the Arrowhead Tactical shorts on with the belt on the inside, which in my mind for concealed carry is the way to go. You can go all the way up here. Look at that, nothing. So I think these are the best shorts ever made. That's just my opinion. Back to the show. Um, this is really good, like I said, for total concealment, and then also if you're going to be drawing your handgun in and out multiple times. If you don't think you're going to need your handgun unless you absolutely need it, which is going to be the case most of the time, I like going with this with this essential holster. It keeps it where it needs to be. It doesn't fall off. Um, it is as slim as you can get, so it's very comfortable for driving. It's very comfortable for sitting, bending, you know, picking up your kids. Uh, we just finished a hike, you know, we spent a couple hours hiking, you know, very slow hiking for a short distance with small kids. 
you know, it took a couple hours to get this fun thing done. Um, I had this on the whole time versus my Blackhawk stash just because I'm picking up strollers over logs and things that we you know, have a couple jogger strollers for all the kids. I have to be the one to hustle and move stuff whenever. It's a lot of fun. Anyways, this in my opinion is really nice to have if you want to make sure that your handgun's with you you want to be as comfortable as possible the essential holsters is i think the way to go or you know there's the vanguard series from raven concealment but they don't make one for the springfield uh, hellcat i've been waiting i i actually knew about the vanguard first and i have some for my glock like i said I was waiting and waiting and they came out with the Sig Sauer uh, P365 series for the Vanguard. I'm like, yes! Oh, these... The Asian Lady Beetles, whatever they're called, they're just bad this year and they bite. Very annoying. See? Um, I was waiting. The, the, the Sig 365 came out and I was like, yes, they're going to make one for the Springfield Hellcat because like the big three, the Glock 43 or 43X series, the Springfield Hellcat, and the P365. That's like, you choose, which one do you want? I got this one, highest highest capacity for the micro compact. I love it. Um, versus the 43X, it's just smaller. Anyways, I was waiting and waiting, never came out. And then I'd seen this, the essential holsters, and I thought about it. And I was like, ah, but... I got one and I got two just for the simple fact that now I can take my 19 and plug it in. We will just show you how this works. So um, they have a whole instruction thing and when you buy it they, they make you say, or say that you're going to follow the instructions. Um, but you literally just press it over the trigger guard. Uh oh. This one doesn't seem to fit as nice. Wow. Okay, so you take your handgun, and me being left-handed and an idiot, I can do this. It slides over, and it clicks on, and then there you go. It's on. It protects your handgun. Oh, well, it protects your trigger, so you're not going to worry about it. And, you know... stick my gun in the dirt if I do this right nope okay so it's not coming off and that's the whole point and then of course you can load your gun you can clear your gun anything like that with this on and it's completely safe you know you you can get a master grip on your firearm all those fun things well let's see so I have this one on oh my goodness I have no good surface to put this oh pocket you can get a master grip on your firearm and draw and then you know you're good to go and then the one time that you actually have to use your handgun is when you're going to be able to draw it so not there when you don't need it the extra bulk and then you still have your handgun when you do need it so they do say you have to take this off and you have to agree to it on their website that you take off the trigger guard to put it back on before you reholster your firearm or before you put it back in your pants because you don't want to be fumbling around like let's just put this on my trigger guard and then there goes the family jewels or lady parts guys and girls alike can use this dog be nice to the cat but shall we try it out a little bit yeah, we can try it out. First, I'm going to bring the dog inside because she's still young. She's not used to guns yet. Got to break her in on that, get her used to it. She's a good hunting dog, but I don't want to scare her. I'll be right back. We're back. We got eyes and ears on, and we have firearms loaded up. No rounds in the chamber yet. For video purposes, I like keeping an empty chamber until I'm ready to roll. Uh, anyways, uh, I just wanted to say, like, 
for demonstration purposes, you know, uh, this is how I carry it with the, uh, well, with the Arrowhead uh, Tactical Shorts. Um, the belt is on the inside, and so you put the clip on the inside and everything just around the, the belt, and it's completely hidden whatsoever, because you could uh, wear these, and I know they're kind of designed this way too, because the clip is on there really good. There we go. Um, you know, you could wear these where you don't have a belt, and you just put these over your shorts, and then they're just kind of designed to hold it in place, which, you know, that's comfortable too. Um, but, you know, there's like, there's a clip there. And everyone nowadays, if they're like, oh, what's a clip doing at your appendix, appendix location? I'm left-handed. I don't have an appendix over here. It'd be kind of cool. Anyways, um, yeah. You could have it, you know, or just on a pair of shorts or something. With a micro, it might not worry too much about uh, sagging. Or you might have to worry about sagging or anything like that with the micro compact. But this is how I like to run it. And it's very comfortable. So let's get going. And I'm going to have to take this off again to load around. I'm not going to get crazy and try to load one in my pants. Sounds so wrong. Um, yeah. So we have garbage ammo so far. We're going to see how it does today. Uh, but the last time that I shot this, it was like one out of every three worked. And I had to go back and like reload, hit it. I kind of wish I had a hammer-fired handgun. I don't. But, um, yeah, so we have a live gun now. And this just clips right on. Nice easy to use um, I don't know I don't really know why I'm showing this because it's not like I can fire and reholster and all that um, where did the cat go I put the dog away and then a cat came out here I'll be right back okay cat left All right, so got a round load, uh, round chambered, and we'll see if this garbage ammo works. Wow, three rounds, just one after the other. I'm just surprised. Oh no, it did it. Okay, well. Okay, well, two rounds wasn't bad. Ow. Anyways, um, so it works great, other than when you draw it, digs into you like no other. Stay. One and two. Yeah. Two primer strikes, two garbage ammo pieces. So that was with the Hellcat, and it clips right back on there nicely, but we could also do, oh, I need a table, I wonder if Scott could get me a table that's not destroyed, I don't have a magazine, I do have a magazine. All right, so bigger gun, bigger problems. It's more likely to tilt, but overall, this is still as thin as you can get because it is literally just the gun. And I know, I'm trying to think, was it the, the MIG holster or something like that? You know, back in the day where it's just a Kydex piece that's molded around it and you put a, a little lanyard loop through it and then you can just tuck the gun in your pants. Similar concept, it's just you have a clip now, which I really like. Um, you know, the gun doesn't move too much. You do the jitterbug. You do the jitterbug. Uh, I mean, I guess, yeah. 
this is more so just so we can see what's going on. So, you know, the thing that I noticed, even with the micro, uh, this is just easier to see, is that the gun really likes to start tilting on you. If you're moving, you're walking, the weight of the gun itself will move. And essential holsters, if you're watching, if you could put a little tiny wing on it, uh, I'm not sure how you do it. If there's some way to add a wing, I think that would go a long way. But this, how it is, is great. And for 25 bucks, it's a little bit more expensive, but it's also unique and it's it's something special. And you get two of them, you get free shipping, like I said. So, uh, I did not load around in the chamber before putting this on. Ugh. See? This is the only downside to this holster, but again, this, this holster is not about going to the range like we are right now and going in and out having fun i would say use this a little bit try it out uh but i think if you were to just work with your fundamentals with like a blackhawk stash or whatever in the waistband holster you want where you know your draw you work on your master grip whatever else you want to call it um getting your getting it out of the way Okay, okay. So yeah, you know that the holster's there after you draw. Oh, that's the only thing I noticed. Between both of these, the times that I've used these to draw, it digs outward and then it sticks into your side. I mean, if you're in a highly stressful situation and you have to use your firearm, I highly doubt you're gonna care about that in the heat of the moment. If you do, train more. Yeah, so one more time, and just because I'm testing this ammo out and I'm not impressed with it at all, uh, my Glock 19 that's completely stock has run the best out of everything else, so it's probably something to do with uh, firing pins and yada yada, but um, yeah, essential holsters. Load your firearm. Well, put the trigger guard on. Load your firearm. Same garbage ammo. Holster your firearm. Forget about it until you might need it. <laughs> yeah, and you know, because it's minimalist, you can do this all day long. Uh, can't do this with my uh, tier one, which so mad about. Wow. Okay. So the ammo works. Yeah. This little guy. Essential holsters. The naked holster. We got naked today. And... I like it. I like it a lot. There it is. Booyah. Buy two, get free shipping. So, that's what I would say. Left hand, right hand, they got them. And, ugh, if you want to take them off. Okay, they're, they're on there. They're, they're seriously on there. All right, that wraps it up for today. These are the micro compact minimalist holsters. You know, good concealed carry, work on your fundamentals. Carry when you want as small as possible. You got it, America. <laughs> I'm Luke, this is Redbird Reviews. Have a good one.